Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I am coming from inside today. I uh, decided to I went out this morning to water the garden and to water some plants, and but I decided to do this inside because I I had to look up some information. I had to do a little research, and what I wanted to look up, I was. Let me ask you this question. How do you react when someone does something that is contrary to the way that you think should things should be done? How do you react or respond when someone says something unkind to you? Do you ever, is your first response to get irritated or upset or angry or what is it? And the reason I share this is because <laughs> last night I got an email. And so here's the first thing. Don't look at your phone before you go to bed. <laughs> so last night I get this email and I was a bit irritated by that email. Actually a little bit more than a bit. And because I was told one thing and then something else was done. And I had not completed what I wanted to do with this project. And so therefore, um, and now is causing some potential double work. And so my first response was irritation. My first response was to let it bother me. And so part of the irritation was, why is this bothering me so much? And so does that ever happen to you? Give me a thumbs up. You know, there's your spouse say something to you and you kind of, you know, get irritated with it. Or maybe somebody at work says something that makes you frustrated with how it's being done. Maybe your boss has asked you to do something that wasn't necessarily something that you thought it should have been done that way. I mean, in all honesty, can I get a hands up? Because we've all been there. And so there's no judgment. And last night when I went to bed, I had trouble falling asleep because I'm just like playing this in my head. Of And I did respond last night in an email. And I'm like, you need to give me the, you know, access to correct this now. And my controller went into a bit overload last night. <laughs> And what it did was it took me a little bit longer to fall asleep because I'm playing this over in my head. And the other thing is it, um, it also, like as I was trying to get quiet and just be thankful for all the things last night because I knew I was headed down a path in my spirit that was not going to give me rest. And so I could, I, I was struggling so much with this internally that I couldn't even like, I'm like, okay, spirit, you need to speak to me. You need to, because typically when I work to close my eyes and be in the spirit and really just be in the presence of God, I can see that light. I can see that, you know, th that there's just a different experience there. And last night I couldn't get to that. And I was a bit frustrated that I couldn't get to it only adding to and so this morning I woke up I'm like okay God I am not starting my day thinking about this I am not going to step into this thing because here's the thing when you go to bed upset and it says do not let the sun go down upon your wrath or your anger when you do that you're waking up with that saying your body's actually not repairing and your body is you know responding with cortisol at night, stress at night, all of those things. So where you get to go, where I got to go was this morning, I'm like, absolutely not starting my day off this way. There gets to be another way. God, what is that other way? And of course, my um, devotion, my meditation for this morning was perfect. And it was different than what I intended it to, than what I thought it would be. So the name of it is called Blessed Be. And it's the um, Beatitudes. Uh, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. 
And it was really, you know, the way the direction the uh, the devotion was going, it was about really how do we help the less fortunate? Are we seeing the less fortunate? Because Jesus said, if you've done this unto me, you fed me when I was hungry, you fed me, you gave me when I was poor, you know, and they're like, but when did we do that, Jesus? And he said, when you've done it unto the least of these, then you've done it unto me. And that was the scripture that I needed to hear. Because the question was, do you see people through Jesus's eyes? Or do you see them through your own skewed eyes based on your perception of the experience that is happening in front of you? And I'm going to be honest, my perception last night was through my own skewed view, my humanistic view, versus seeing this other person through Jesus's eyes. And it got me to thinking about mercy. Because mercy is, if you know the parable um, of the Mount, Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus in that explains what kind of human lives are blessed by God. And he says, blessed are the poor in spirit. And that doesn't mean we're downtrodden or anything that. It means we're humble. Blessed are the humble. And this is why I invite you to look at different versions, because the different versions will give you different words. This is why I also invite you to go back to the original, which I did not have time to do this morning, go back to the original Greek or Hebrew to see what that word means when it says poor in spirit or what humble really means. But the third line in this says, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And this is our Take Action Tuesday. So what I would like and invite you to take action on is how do you get to show up meek regardless of, and let me tell you, you're probably going to encounter someone, whether on the road, on this pass, passing by someone, in your home, in your work, you're gonna pass, something's gonna happen today that may cause you to not be humble to not, you know, lower yourself and say, see them through God's eyes. See them through Jesus' eyes. Because the, the verses, and I invite you to do it, it's Matthew 5, 3 through 10. Read through the whole thing. Because it says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Hmm. When we are merciful, God shows us mercy. It says in his word in Lamentations 3 that his mercies are new every day. In fact, they never, ever come to an end. They never come to an end. It says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So here's the cool thing about starting each day is that God's mercies are new for us each day. His love for us never ends, regardless of what we do, say, how we act. And that's what the Sermon on the Mount is. The Beatitudes are really about, here's how I want you to behave today. This is who I want you to be today. So he's asking us to be meek. He's asking us to be peacemakers. After that, after merciful, it says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. See, we're going to encounter things. People put us down because we're Christians. People put us down because of what we believe. But if we are merciful, if we are humble, if we are peacemakers, how much is that going to shift things in our world? How much? Good morning, Zambamo. I'm so glad you're with me today. Yeah, so how much, how much 
Would it change your life? Would it change my life? Would it change people's lives? If we showed up merciful, which means we showed up loving, which means we showed up seeing people through Jesus's eyes and not ours. So imagine when you step into the presence of God and you step in the presence and you ask Jesus and the Holy Spirit to be with you. What is the thing that happens to you? You find grace, you find mercy, you find peace. You find joy. But what if we shared that out with the world? Because that's what the, the, the attitudes are telling us. Be these things. Be these things. Be meek. Be merciful. Seek God. Be pure in heart. Be a peacemaker. When we be these things, these ways of being, when we are that, that is when we have the ability to look at the other person. So I get to have a meeting with this <laughs> today. And when I see how I experienced that email last night and how I'm going to apply mercy today, just the same way that God applies mercy to me every day, it shifted me from the frustration, it shifted me from the irritation to a place of, okay, forgiveness. Because mercy actually means compassion. It means forgiveness. It's not holding something against them. How many times does a spouse or a family member or a friend say something and we hold it against them? And then it tears things apart. Because that's what's happening in the world. It should not be happening in our homes. You know, in a local town, there was a celebrating her their heritage and yet there was a day of, it was a day of there was a shooting there was a stabbing see that's how the world responds to irritation and frustration but God's saying no we're not of the world I want you to respond with compassion I want you to respond to forgiveness because you never know what the other person's going through we are living in a sick world you know we're living in a broken world and God's yet, he's offering us the way out. He's offering us a way to, hey, if you do this, if you are poor in spirit, if you are mourning, guess what? I'm going to comfort you. If you're frustrated, let me comfort you. Don't look to the world. If you, if you show up meek today, I'm going to give you the earth. You're going to inherit the earth. If you're looking for righteousness, guess what? I'm going to fill you with that. If you're merciful to your family members, to your friends, to your community, to the people on Facebook, oh, there's a big old one. How many arguments happen on Facebook? Because here's the thing. We're called to be something different. We are called to be something different. And today I'm, I'm inviting you to be blessed, to live a blessed life. So go back and read Matthew 5, 3 through 10. Apply those things to your home, to yourself, to your community, to your work, to your ministry, to the people that you serve. Guarantee, if we start, if you start, if I start looking at people through Jesus' eyes, then how we treat them, which goes back to that verse. If you've done it unto the least of these, you've done it unto me. So be mindful today. Today, uh, today is Take Action Tuesday. Be mindful today of how you treat others, how you see others. And my prayer is that I am, you are, merciful all day long. And when you want to go another direction, just say the word mercy. God, let me be merciful. Let me be merciful. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, that you are a merciful God, that your love is never ending, you're never ceasing, your mercies are new every day. And today, Lord, on this day, I pray that you will... 
Rise up in mercy through us and let us see others as you see them. Let us love others as you love them. Let us be merciful as you are merciful to us. Let us be compassionate and kind and forgiving. Lord, whatever we encounter today, we give those to you. We give those moments to you. And we ask for one thing. Let us be merciful in everything that we say and everything that we do with every person that we encounter today. Let them see you through us and let us see them through your eyes. And I thank you, Lord, for using us and showing us mercy in its purest form so that we can go out and give, be that for others in this broken, broken world. Give us mercy, Lord, and let us be merciful today. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that you have a very beautiful day, that you have a merciful day. You know, be merciful to yourself, be merciful to others. And when you look in the mirror, look through the eyes of Jesus. When you look at others around you, when you look at your spouse, when you look at your children, when you look at your coworkers, when you look at people on the street, show them compassion, show them mercy, and watch how it will shift your day and shift other people's day as well. Zambemo, thank you. Thank you for, for praying for me. I appreciate it. And I love that you are here with me. And I pray that you will share this with the broken world because we all get to show up in mercy. So if you are joining me, whether it's live or later on, please share this with somebody who could use a little compassion today, that could use a little mercy. It could, you could use the hope that we... God's love is never ending, and he gives us new mercies every single day. Remember, take action Tuesday. Go see people through Jesus' eyes and impact the world. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.